Hey, can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? That's where we are today, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna check out Sesame Street. Now, I did something silly. I forgot to charge my camera battery, so I'm on my cell phone, which means it's gonna be a little bit shaky today. I apologize, but hopefully it'll still be a lot of fun. Hey, Dr. Gina Jefferson, we got the Community Vet Center. Right here we got Sunny Day Salon where you could get a fuzz cut for $5, a frizzy fur blowout for a buck, feather printing for $5, snuffle styling for 20, shave and haircut, two bits, and you could preview your new do right here. There you go. Yes, and I'm right still bald. right in here, you can meet Elmo and Cookie Monster. There you go. Dun, dun. It's a photo with Elmo and friends, and then you've got the electrical boxes properly marked. And they treat it like a theater. Bert. Hello, Telly, Scrambleton. My fur lady. Ha, ah, Harry. Long, short, natty, ratty. There you go. Abby. Oh, like Annie. I dig that. Furry boys, male La Muncha. The sod couple. We got the what the Nest Side Story, Preschool Rock, Lay Monsterables, a monster line, Pigeon on the Roof, the Music Monster, Rosita, and Scent. And right here you got the call boards with the photos, the bios, and you got all sorts of props and hats and costumes. Leading right up to the costume shop. But the costume shop isn't actually a shop, it's some pictures. And then of course some merchandise, an autograph book, a picture frame, all sorts of cool stuff. There you go, from Sandy. All the costumes from the plays they've got over there. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty, true believers, we are here to go meet Elmo and the Cookie Monster. Attention cast crew, this board is for official theater posts. <laughs> okay, Wizard of Oz, Little Shop of Hoopers. Oh, I get the Oz. Alrighty, that's cool. And this is the theater you can come in and meet Cookie Monster and Elmo. Now the line took me about half an hour to get through and that's on the first day. So it should be a lot easier. As I think right now you've got a, a bigger crowd because it's opening day. But you can meet Cookie Monster and Elmo today. I'm not sure if they'll switch this out. But considering it says meet Elmo out there, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be a staple. Let's go see what else they have. Of course. You have to be able to buy your plushies. Nothing like a guy who lives in a trash can to cuddle up with before you go to sleep. Not the best idea to get a sweatshirt right now, but they've got Elmo sweatshirts. Oh! And they also have Elmo t-shirts, and this one is adult size, $25, 3XL. So they, they take care of the big people as well. That's awesome. But of course they're gonna they're gonna take care of the little ones as well. And over here, they sell 50 years of Sesame Street magnets. Look at that. Uh, hey, you can actually pick up only one. That is awesome. Can you tell me how to get... Now that they have a dude shirt that uh, says 123 Sesame Street, that'd be better. Okay, not that a grown man's going to go out and buy a Sesame Street shirt, but were I to do so, this would be it. I like that one. I dig that shirt. Now, this isn't going to get outdated. Interactive washing machines. Well, aren't all inter washing machines interactive? Oh, here you guys. 
<laughs> okay, I don't know what I did. <laughs> but there you go, so the kids could come in and pop all the bubbles. And then you know what, I just did it and I had fun, so. Oh, look, it's underwear. Uh, <laughs> okay, there you go. After you pop all the bubbles, and you, and you find out what it is, up here you get to guess what it is. So you hit the pop, and there you go. We step outside of the laundromat we just walked out of. There you go, it actually says laundromat. And then you have Sesame Street Daily up top. Awesome, what else do we have? Oh, we have a disco ball over here, right above Hooper's store. It's Hooper's store. Oh my gosh, see, I'm, I am a, I'm, I'm old enough that I was a kid when Mr. Hooper died, and yes, that was very sad, very sad. So let's go see what they've got in Mr. Hooper's store. Oh, right there, people. There he is. There's the man. The man himself, Mr. Hooper. Yeah. When they had to explain what death was to Big Bird and that Mr. Hooper wasn't going to be here anymore, that was so sad. Hey, you can get a bird seed smoothie. Or a seated roll in butter. That would be kind of cool. I think that would be awesome if they actually came up with a bird seed smoothie. And they do pin trading here. And they've got some decent, look at that 50 year pin, that's pretty cool. You got the golden bird there. Yep, 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 yep. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. And here's some starter sets. Cool, 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 cool. And they've got interactive doors and windows all over for kids to play with. But right now they also have story time. Story time with Big Bird. And that's right over here. This is his nest, and we see he's got a picture of himself and Snuffleupagus on it. There's Teddy Bear. This is something I'm a little sad I'm by myself here. Here's the famous stoop, 123 Sesame Street. There you go, guys. Unfortunately, I can't get a picture on it because I'm by myself, but the family and I are, and I are coming back in next week, so. That's one of the better things about living here. You got Oscar the Grouch's garbage can. Hmm. I wonder if Garner can make me a sardine anchovy milkshake. But it says don't knock, but of course. You're right, Fluffy. It does sound like a herd of elephants out there. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to sleep here. Scram! All right, that's kind of cool. I wonder. Hey. Why don't you go follow somebody else? I'm sleeping here. Whoever that is knocking better be grouchy. Yeah, well, I'm old, bald, and grouchy. There you. Scram! <laughs> there you go. And it's got a whole bunch of newspapers right behind them with a whole bunch of different Sesame Street headlines. Coolness. kids can create a monster. Choose your monster. Alrighty, let's go with the plank of wood. Choose a color. I like purple. Purple. 
Jews eyes. Ooh, which one? I like this one. There you go. To the nose. Oh, well, I got to go with a fat nose like I've got. Pick the mouth. Oh, I've got to go with a big mouth like I've got as well. Um, ba -ba -bum, we got to go right here. Choose a hairstyle. I don't have hair, um, so let's go with something funky. I'm going to go with the horns. Dress your monster. And now we can dress our monster. I like superheroes. Superhero suit. So there you go. Pick shoes. Oh, but we got superheroes, so what does every superhero need? Flippers for swimming. Pick some accessories. All righty, and once again, we're making a superhero monster, and every superhero monster, now you would think I would go with this because he's got flippers, but I got to go with this. Are you finished creating your monster? Yes! Great job! Now go find your monster. Now we monster. go find our monster at the monster community one. That's not it. Nope, 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 nope. And there you go. That's him. So this is really cool. So your monster stays up until enough monsters are created to replace it. And that is really cool. So a kid can actually come back and check it out and find his monster for later. This is really cool. This is the recipe. Look carefully at milk. I guess you have to match all of the things. Avocado. Great job, monster foodies. Not very hard for a grown person, but this is something that kids can do while their parents are waiting in line for their food. Broccoli. And cheese. cheese. And there you go. So this is the food area. It's got a couple of stands. There's not like a restaurant around here. This is chicken tenders. You got regular chicken tenders, then Hawaiian grilled, which are not breaded. And then you've got Asian tempura breaded. And that comes with tempura batter and I'm sure some teriyaki sauce. And the Hawaiian grilled comes with barbecue sauce. And there's a honey mustard for the regulars. And then over here we've got what looks like smoothies and some soft serve ice cream. And then over here is grilled cheese it looks like. And there's Hawaiian which is pulled pork with smoked bacon bits, cheddar cheese and barbecue sauce. We've got the Italian which is grilled chicken top with spinach and white cheddar and balsamic glaze turkey with tomato and american cheese and then the veggie which is basil spinach pesto and cheddar cheese which actually sounds pretty good put a tomato on that and i think that'd be perfect but i think i'm going to try this and go for the uh italian no 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 the hawaiian definitely hawaiian all righty so this is the pulled pork the hawaiian pulled pork uh grilled cheese and i got this for $11.50 after the annual pass holders discount. Comes with fries. Um, that's kind of expensive. You know, I'm a, I'm a native, therefore we like our foods to be cheaper, but let's give it a try and see if it's actually tasty. Okay, to be honest, it's a, it's a tasty sandwich. A lot of cheese, very salty though. This is definitely something you're gonna wanna drink. It's very heavy also, and you could share this. I, I'm a I'm a 220 pound guy, and I couldn't finish this by myself. So this is a sandwich you could share between two people easily, especially if one of them's a kid. So that could save you some money. Otherwise, yeah, it's it's good. It's not the best thing that SeaWorld has, but it will do if you're in that area and you're looking for a bite. There you go, gang. That's part one of. The opening day of Sesame Street, I could easily make a 30-minute video, but I figure I'm going to break it down into two videos. One's 15. I don't know exactly how long the next one's going to be, probably around 10 or 15 minutes as well, depending on the editing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you liked. What? Let me know uh, how I could improve. I understand the cell phone's more shaky than the regular camera, so I appreciate you guys uh, 
yeah, dealing with that. I, I that that's very kind of you. If you do like the video, please click one of the boxes that are popping up. Check out another one, as well as click like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Don't forget to go on over to Patreon or to Ko-Fi and help the channel out. Drop a dollar in the till helps keep making videos for you. I'd like to thank everybody who's already done that, and to everyone, all of the true believers. Thank you very, very much for watching.